whatever they oh, think is that what triggered it that, th see that's a feature that you find in many civilizations and cultures across history why is it that one goes one has a yearning for roots agar aap yahan baithe hain you're an african american 300 saal se aapke log yahan reh rahe hain and then you want to go back to gambia or sierra leone to discover so your roots so this is what 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 it is you know yeah no but it, it is that i mean it's but, but it it has to do with a loss of self confidence and of course at some point you get you know then you might say well what causes that i mean then obviously one would have to look at the constitution of human societies and human beings what is it that makes people confident in some societies and less confident in other societies but what i'm saying is ki aapne phenomenon observe kar liye taliban ka the taliban is a short hand here for all kinds of let's say islamic extremists extremists okay just a short hand for the sake of convenience but then the question is okay so why is it that pakistan turned towards that and if somebody says oh zia ne kiya but zia ne kyu kiya okay i mean is he representing a certain strand of society in pakistan okay which is saying that look we have to listen very carefully to the people who are trying to argue that this is not the real home of islam south asia yahan jo hai the islam has been absolutely contaminated by the proximity to religions such as hinduism jainism and buddhism basically short hand would be hinduism you see okay you know right theek hai to to so 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 gandhi becomes the short hand for understanding these kinds of questions so to go on, back to your question so on one hand we have the taliban and on the other hand we have gandhi that's what you're saying well in, you in, have in this, gandhi if you realize question. it but uh -huh. the problem is that nobody in pakistan is going to is willing to own up to that yeah gandhi I mean, is part of the heritage of pakistan too but that's yeah. what they have to understand yeah i mean it is so cut off anything before 1947 as if like that history is, is complete or it's mostly denied most of it and oh, i've uh, seen pakistani textbooks i've seen plenty of them yeah, the the way the whole history of the nationalist movement is written up just absolutely incredible there is no understanding at all the whole history is written as though by 1857 mein hua revolt hua bahadur shah ko hata diya phir said samad ahmed khan aage सईद अहमद खान आ गए मुस्लिम एजुकेशन शुरू करी उन्होंने फिर खिलाफत आ गया खिलाफत के बाद जिना और इकबाल आ गए बस ये इतिहास है यू नो यू कैन राइट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट दैट वे यू नो एज दो देर वर एज दो ओनली फिगर्स इन इट वर अ फ्यू मुस्लिम दैट्स नॉट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द नेशनलिस्ट मूवमेंट इन इंडिया यू नो even other muslim leaders like there was a guy uh alama mashriqi yeah uh, there was a khak khak sar movement yeah yeah i know he, about he, it he's also written uh, off yeah written off absolutely wo to hai yeah and he was a guy who was saying um arabic should be the official language of pakistan yeah. Yeah. and uh they were you know really mad about that idea and it it became english um but uh zia is um so well in the history of pakistan starting from liaquat ali khan he comes over here and uh you know he has to report to the master seems like and then after that the 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 military different military dictators all supported by the us including zia and was with zia what was happening was Th there was a lot of funding uh uh taken the US asked Saudi Arabia to yeah put in a lot of funding to um go to war against the Soviets in Afghanistan and it was uh you know part of that whole thing that it was the CIA going around the world and telling people telling Muslims you have to go to do jihad recruiting people 
and they were promoting, and the, the CIA was promoting the idea of jihad to recruit people. And um, and Saudi Arabia was uh, pouring in billions, and yeah. that's how. Uh, it, it's not that the people wanted to go to a Taliban or Mujahideen or that Wahhabi uh, type of Islam. Uh, it's just it was imposed, just like you know in the eighties. For example, what was imposed was heroin and Klashenkovs. And you know, then we heard, okay, this is now the Klashenkov culture. It was, you know, my cousin was like 17. He bought a Czechoslovakian gun called a Mauser for yeah. less than $100. Yeah. It was cheap. It was rampant. And heroin was cheap and rampant. And my brother was addicted. Mm. And in the mid-80s, there was a two-page article in LA Times about there's a million heroin addicts in Pakistan. Mm. Mm. So this, just like those things were imposed, mm. uh, this Talibanization or, you know, that Wahhabi interpretation of Islam was imposed. Mm. And I, I think that's what happened. The, the people themselves, like in the 70s, my sisters were dressed very modern or yeah, yeah. going to Where are you school. from? Lahore. Lahore. Lahore camp. But then, so that was the early 70s and then, um, I don't know when uh, probably in the late 80s or mid 80s then you saw these things like uh, there's a big billboard of a, of a woman there's a big uh, ad of something mm. being advertised and there's a picture of a woman mm. and they throw ink at it mm. to, to mess it up that oh this is uh, you know, a woman in public But the, the the roots you were saying that the idea of uh, going back to your roots is um, that can also be imposed uh, like you know African Americans it it is imposed by the circumstances that they they are completely like because it's suppressed complete, completely in yeah, that case they are completely like wiped completely, everything's yeah. wiped yeah. the religion is wiped their culture yeah. is wiped their language is wiped. So then when they start getting education about what happened to them, like you were saying, you know, coming to terms with your history, and then you might want to go back to the period of before, before that, before slavery, and uh, get connected to the roots. So to, uh, to be connected to something um, Something more positive. Yeah. Yeah, no, but I mean, you know, of course, I mean, I mean the African American case has to do in part with the complete suppression of the very. Uh, 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 glass